What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Brennan and I'm BMNX45 and today we're coming at you with another video. We have a hobby news for the Digimon TCG. We have a little bit of hobby news here. Uh, some things going on. I uh, just wanted to bring to everyone's attention. Um, there's a few new things that have come about. Uh, we got a few new store champion regionals information. Um, Digimon Liberator promotion campaign. And some new information about Secret Crisis, which is BT17. So let's get into it. Let's talk about it. And uh, hey, if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to smash that like button. Comment down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for notifications. So you don't miss a single minute of the fun. Also, we have done four deck profiles for the BT16 format. So we've got two deck profiles to go. Um, we have black and yellow. I finally got my black deck kind of going right the way I want it to. We're working on the yellow deck, how, how I'd like to uh, see it for this format. Um, so it'll be interesting to see that. So that yellow will probably be the last one. And then we'll start talking a little bit more about Infernal Ascension uh, as it is coming up at the end of the month. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, so we have here, we have Secret Crisis, BT-17. Um, <clears throat> August 9th is the release date. So about like a month and a week after EX-6, part of that simultaneous uh, up translation update program. So it's going to be pretty close it's saying it's got 106 card types um and then so it's actually 102 but uh there's four low pull rates basically which are the ace cards i think um crimson mode shine graymon uh I'm trying to remember the other two i i looked at them before but uh those guys are going to be ace cards and so they're going to have low pull rates um two secret rares like usual 12 supers I think that's pretty common right now um and then the regular stuff um so again coming up really quick so they've already started to put information about uh secret crisis it's gonna be cool because we'll get more diaboromon stuff so i'll probably be playing diaboromon from ex6 onward um in my black decks so that'll be really cool oh we got an omnimon ace that's another one of the four aces there gotta have a low pull right and i can't remember the last one for the life of me Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll look at them when we get around to that. So yeah, and that's, it's kind of funny because um, Infernal Ascension, um, I think had the same kind of, um, yeah, 79 types, but it's actually the regular 74, 72, 74, because uh, of, you, you got to take away those five special cards because those are the little pull rates. So there's that. Which I think is pretty common now. Um, actually, one thing I did want to check out is is super rares. Because are they putting the same amount of super rares in both sets now, or um, twelve super rares? Yeah, they used to put a lot less super rares in the EX set. Now they're putting the same amount, um, which is kind of nuts if you think about it. Um, yeah, and then if you like. Go back to beginning observer. Now they have the points list there. Um, tw Twelve. I'm just trying to figure out when they when they started with this whole um, you know twelve because I feel like it was BT fourteen. And then if you look at before BT fourteen, the number of supers that you get is a lot less. That's when they changed everything. Fourteen supers in this set. There was fourteen supers in that set. That was nuts. Um, I think I think BT fifteen was was twelve again. I don't know. Maybe it was maybe it was fourteen also. It was actually sixteen. Sixteen super rares. I feel like that's a misnomer because I feel like. They might be counting some of the ace cards. I'd have to go back and look, which we could do in a different video. But like, if we go back to BT, if we go back to BT thirteen. I think it it'll be a lot different. Wait for everything to load. I'm too fast for this system. Wish I just had like the regular list. But like, if you go back to the older sets. You gotta wait for all these points lists and stuff like that. There we go. 
Um, mm -hmm. Yep, 10 super rares. Yeah, which I think was a lot more common. Eight to, eight to 10 super rares were a lot more common before, uh, before that happened. So there's that. Um, so yeah, so we're kind of that average 12 right now is kind of where we're at um and that's kind of where we are with with this eight supers or sorry 12 supers uh which is a lot which makes it harder to get play sets uh even when you buy like eight boxes like i do so uh yeah uh, at least it's not 14 because 14 is nuts uh we also have the digimon liberator promotion campaign uh so the alt arts of Terramon and shumon Look really cool, full full art alts, and it looks like it's uh, it's gonna be just at conventions. Um, so looks like participants have a chance to get exclusive designs featuring Digimon Liberator. Convention events will be continued uh, to be updated on this page, so stay tuned. So you gotta be at like a yeah special several convention events. So promotion pack two cards per pack um times one um so i don't know if you get like two of this guy or two of this guy or you just get one of each i'm assuming it's one of each um but yeah so they show the anime expo in los angeles on july 4th weekend um gen con on the august weekend so you gotta be at gen con japan expo in europe um and france GamesCon in Germany. That's the so there's two for Europe and two for North America right now. Um, basically, come visit the Bandai booth uh, at their participating events. Uh, make a post on social media as directed by the booth staff and include a hashtag Digimon Liberator. Um, and then help spread awareness of Digimon Liberator on social media account uh, to get a special promotion pack. So basically, you just got to go to the booth and do a couple things for them to help you know advertise and they give you stuff so if you're planning on going uh if you're north america and you're planning on going to either the anime expo or the gen con uh make sure you pick yourself up a digimon library pack and then sell it to me <laughs> no no worries but yeah that'd be you know it's worthwhile they're cool cards i think the digimon library decks are gonna make really good uh might take a while i think Terramon will be good sooner than Schumann, but hey, yellow is always really good, so I could be totally wrong. Um, but yeah, so yeah, definitely uh, definitely check that out. Uh, and lastly, we have the store regionals uh, that they were talking about. So they've picked a couple store regionals So uh, now. So now you have areas, uh, the application periods, um, you know, 64 person event. Um, we have tournament organizers. We have one in, in my province british columbia just in burnaby uh, on the mainland so potentially i could have gone to this one if i want to pay the 80 dollars to cross the ferry <laughs> so, and back and back with a vehicle so i mean this that's pretty good so people in vancouver you know congrats you guys got a regionals um so i'm excited for you guys uh 401 games in uh ontario uh 401 games I bought a lot tons of cards off of them. So to all the people I know in Ontario played Digimon at the Brick City Discord. Uh, so you know, go you know, enjoy a in-person regionals. Um, then we have some in other places: Vegas, uh, Washington, um, <clears throat> Virginia. There's tons of them actually. New Jersey, California. So there's lots of, in the states. So a lot of cool um, in-person regionals. It could be smaller events. So. Not gonna have as you know, you know, six hundred people there, um, but you know, and you get, you know, you still get your participation pack. You get two event packs instead of three, which is still pretty good. Uh, you, you'll get a top pack for top sixteen. Uh, you'll get the final invite for top four and serial number Omnimon uh, for top two, and then the final is set for top one. So it's still pretty pretty good. That's still pretty awesome. Um, and this Omnimon, you have a lot better chance, a lot less people, so you have a lot better chance winning it. So I hope people enjoy um, the online in person or the offline in person regionals that they're doing. I think this is a cool idea. Um, you'd never be able to do it at my store because there's just not enough players. 
but uh, I mean, the fact that it's so close is actually pretty cool. So I mean, I could, and if, if they can, places like Magic Stronghold Games continue to do them, I could go to them in the future uh, if I, you know, had plans to go to Vancouver. So that's really cool. So I do appreciate that. Um, so that's it right now for um, the hobby news. Uh, we do have some tournament manual rules and stuff we'll talk about in a uh, rule update video. But thank you guys for checking out the video. Hopefully you found it informative and looks like that's all the time we have for the video. Thank you very much for tuning in and we hope to see you in the next video. That's all for now, folks.